Hello and welcome to this urgent cryptocurrency technical analysis where we have just seen a really large move to the downside here. I want to be covering this move, why the move happened, the current short position that I am in on Bitcoin and how I'm looking to take this over the next few days to even potentially weeks. So I hope that you really enjoy this video, you can learn something from this video and you understand the next trade that I'm looking towards. So I try and keep this one really short and sweet because I am actually actively trading this at the moment. So vamos, let's go. Um, right. Yesterday, I made a free public YouTube video, which if you haven't seen, you should definitely go and watch. It was a video in which I really called to your attention the need of having a plan and the need of removing that FOMO emotion. Why were people, why was I under the perspective anyway, at least, that a lot of people are going to be feeling FOMO? Because we have recently seen a large move to the upside that was eclipsed by this, you know, really quick move up into that $48,000 resistance level. OK, so you're going to have a lot of emotions in the market at this point. You're going to have some of the market actually feeling sad that they missed all this move to the upside. You're going to have other people euphoric thinking we're going to $100,000. And e.g., there's going to just be a lot of emotions in here. You know, FOMO is going to be wild, a lot of FOMO. And what does that mean if you are feeling FOMO, you're feeling very emotional? And what happens if you're feeling very emotional in trading? You're probably going to end up getting absolutely wrecked. And that is not what you want. That is not what you want to do. And actually, this was funnily enough, <laughs> kind of ironic almost, but while I was making that video yesterday, reminding you to trade the charts, and yes, just because we are in a massive uptrend, that means you can short, It does. there, there is still short opportunities to be had, okay? Thinking you can only long is, is, is a mistake in this market. We obviously started to go within our sideways range, but this is the thing that I want to bring your attention to, because it was just kind of funny, that while I was making that video, reminding people to not FOMO, there was actually one of, uh, you know, a, a YouTuber here uh, saying, Bitcoin, I am all in. OK, what do you think this is doing to the general public watching this type of video? Is it enticing FOMO? Is it enticing them to think, oh, my God, I need to get in here before I miss the move to the upside? Most likely it is. And just think to yourself, a rhetorical question here. What is their ulterior motive? What reason do they have to try and get people buying into resistance in such a euphoric, emotionally driven way? What is that motive? Just think about that for a second. I'm pretty sure I know the reason why, but I'll let you decide that for yourself. Unfortunately, this is obviously a disgusting, in my opinion, really, you know, really horrible practice because it is literally getting people wrecked for their own benefits. I mean, it's, it's pretty horrible. I mean, it's pretty bad, let's be honest. But anyway, I digress and move on to what we focus on, and that's the charts. And obviously, anybody that has been buying here over the past few days, the likelihood is they are now liquidated. So even if it moves up higher from here, let's say we do continue the range and it moves higher. Well, unfortunately, most people will have been stopped out or, or liquidated on this move to the downside. That's why you have to remain patient for your entries. You cannot buy into resistance. You know, it's just kind of crazy. Uh, anyway, um, so I want to actually talk you through then this latest move here, this really, really latest move. OK, and how this uh, really just just really just comes together of why you need to have that absolute golden plan. OK, you need to have that plan. You need to be ready and collected. That means non-emotional. Have your levels, do your technical analysis, know where you want to trade, see the reaction, take the trade. And actually, this was pretty perfect. So today, earlier this afternoon, I made a members only live stream for all the contenders and all the champions, a special one. Why was it special? Because I recognized, hey, we got one level on our charts and this is the one level where we're going to be gifted a trade opportunity. And it was off of the daily. Not only did I do it in the live stream emphasizing this, I also posted it inside of the discord for the champions saying, do have alerts on this daily. This is the level that we're going to be taking our trade from based off of that reaction. If we clear the daily, we can look to the top of the range. If we end with a rejection, we got a lovely short trade. And yes, that is the short trade I'm still in right now. Okay, so EG, I was planned ready for that short of the daily. What happened? We got a wick through the daily. Not only did you get a wick through the daily, the most perfect thing you could have hoped for, and that was for over, over 40 million trapped longs into the high. That is a wick of with over 40 million longs with the open interest increasing on a 59 million volume candle. Just look at that and think to yourself, wow, just 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 be, think, wow. OK, so over 40 million trap longs into the high. OK, ending in a wick rejection onto your daily level, which we're planned and ready for. That has obviously resulted in a large move to the downside, bouncing off of, in my opinion, the 46, 200 old daily NPOC level. So obviously we've seen a little bit of, you know, well, we're still currently under the bounce here. OK, so we're currently seeing that a little bit of a bounce get underway. And so what we're going to be looking at now is in terms of the reclaim of our old 
trading range, okay, that would naturally be fairly bullish, okay, but what we're going to be doing here, I actually want to do, let's just uh, load up this really quickly, let me just see this, so just to see how the buyback, okay, so the buyback here that we're seeing is, is obviously on the decrease in OI, um, so that's absolutely fine, but we obviously are seeing a bit of a buyback here, what I would be looking for is putting this really simply, again, the worst thing that you can do is get emotional emotionally driven right now okay so what you have to be thinking is okay if we can start to see the reclaim around 47k that's of course going to be back into this vow and that is going to be a, a, a significant a significant sign of strength and we could expect this overall sideways range to continue if we see some sort of bounce which results in something like this with an sr flip and a, another move to the downside of course then we can be looking towards the cc of that first retracement um and if we lose that and we end up losing this low that's put in well really simply we're going to be looking down towards our lower levels okay on the bitcoin chart and for, for me right now it is as simple as that so you might be thinking to yourself daniel why are you still in a short position if we have just taken this low and got a really nice bounce you know let's say for example it does boom um you might think wow daniel why are you still in your short the reason i'm still in this short is because first of all my short was from here okay uh for second of all uh, this was all off of the plan that I had and I have hit take profit on that. So I have hit a take profit on this trade. If I am to get stopped on the rest of the trade, I'm absolutely fine with that. But I also want to be protected in case we do get the SR flip of the vow and we, we head back down for a retest or lower. I want to be in this scenario protected and I am here protecting my capital. If we see a reclaim of the vow, guess what? I can long this, <laughs> you know, I could long that if I wanted to and continue to search out for higher prices you can see how my mindset is in this market right now it is not emotional it's not thinking oh my god i've missed the move it's the end of the world it's hey if you miss a move it really doesn't matter because guess what there's always another trade ahead of you and that trade is going to be even better than the one you've missed it's okay i'm ready and waiting with my plans i see my plans i see the reactions i execute my trades in a non-emotional way i come down i hit my take profit i then approach this in a mindset of hey if we go down lower i'm still protected I know my significant level that I'm waiting for a reclaim. If we reclaim that, guess what? I'm not going to be a perma bear that continues to short, 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 short. No, I will accept, hey, that short is closed. Now let's look for the next long opportunity. Yeah, I'm trading the chart. I'm trading what's happening. I'm not only interested in longs. I'm not only interested in shorts. I'm interested in the next best high probability trade that will make me money. And guess what? <laughs> that's what we do here at chart champions <laughs> so um <laughs> yeah i just want to do a quick reminder a uh, few announcements and then we'll get back to finish up looking at the order flow of this bounce so two quick announcements that i want to do first one was that i done a hedging live stream yesterday uh if you haven't watched that that's obviously over on the website that you can come over to now obviously i've done a bonus live stream two days ago for the altcoins another bonus live stream today going through bitcoin and some altcoins george every single day with his daily updates you're just getting updates left right and center not only from me but from the whole of the team go into the discord and you're seeing everybody just here for you updating you on their trades and you know empowering you to to do what we do so if you want that it's obviously over primarily on the website there and i just remind you that i done the hedging live stream last night and this one actually kind of made me laugh that <laughs> as hank says here that's what sets us apart well most people are you know they're going to have this motive of almost wanting to try and get you emotional and eg get you wrecked you know we are here to tell you what's actually happening you know not bringing you emotional bringing you content and education that can actually help you in trading um you know and that but then this is the thing that actually la that i laugh at and i'm not sure if this is good or bad let me know in a comment I'm, I'm, I'm kind of interested in your opinions on this or do you think i should be it is is copying the finest form of flattery because it is kind of funny that currently now yeah you'll see nobody hedging but just as just as i obviously made daily levels just as i brought everybody order flow just as any of these all of these templates that you see created by chart champions they are now like being reused and people are recycling our content and it's kind of it's kind of just like nobody gives credit to the original original designers and it's just like mm. <laughs> but yeah i would give it three months <laughs> until all the people that are learning from us having their own groups are reproducing this content <laughs> into their own um so yeah stay tuned for that being reproduced somewhere else but if you want to see it from the original content provider who actually made it then chartchampions.com <laughs> um and that's yeah that was the only announcement that i wanted to do there it was primarily reminding you about the um 
yeah, about the hedging live stream and all the other live streams if you want to see that on the website. So let's really quickly check this order flow before I wrap it up. Um, da -da -da -da, let's come down onto a much lower term time frame here. Uh, so you obviously saw in the original move to the downside, the, you know, lots and lots and lots of liquidations there. Okay, let's just add on our rec. Yeah, you see these large bubbles. This is signifying large liquidations. You then obviously had your first buyback on this with a lot of longs opening. You got a retest, getting another buyback. I would personally be looking for around that 47. Okay, you can see this Y, 47K, what's well, SR level, uh, VAL of the overall range that we we're trading. You also have PD VAL. You also have the uh, PD POC there and the daily open and the PD EQ. Like, come on, this is such a significant level. Of course, if we can reclaim that, in my opinion, yes, it's bullish. Of course, I'll close my short. Okay, uh, it's closing the short in profits. I've already hit take profit one. I'll simply take a stop loss on the rest. I'm comfortable with that. But if we come up here and get a retest or a rejection, and I'll, I'll simply look for lower. I'm, I'm in a position now where I'm, I'm fairly comfortable whatever happens from here. Again, if we do pump up here to higher prices, that's absolutely fine. And if we dump from here for the lower prices, I'm fine with it. Yeah. How am I fine with it? Well, because I'm a trader, <laughs> I'm a professional, and I'm open to trading this market in any way, shape or form, as long as it's a high probability trade. Had that this morning, took my trade, I've made money. And if you're here to make money, <laughs> this is what chart champions do. So uh, thank you ever so much, everybody. End with the final announcement, I suppose, that if you want to see more from us, we got the website, we got a free newsletter, which is absolutely free um, that you can sign up to if that's of interest to you. And uh, if you want to trade along with us on Bybit, I've got that sign up link for the affiliates where you can get make use of some of the bonuses to trade uh, to trade there. So I'll leave those three links in the description below or the comments below, I suppose. And I will just wish you a very happy day indeed. Um, yeah. That's, that's it, I suppose. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed this one. And uh, smash that like button. Cheers, and I'll see you in the next video. No, I won't. I will end by saying this. And that is that we obviously are... The, this video is not financial advice, okay? Uh, just education, entertainment video only. Uh, make sure you fully understand that. Cheers, everybody. Thank you, and goodbye. I want to get back to trading this now. <laughs>